Hello, today we're going to do a Ruckus Unleashed Access Point Controller Setup. So when you take your access point out of the box, you're going to see on the bottom of it, it's going to have a, an IP address and a username and a password that it comes up with by default. So with the Unleashed software on the access point, it's going to go, you're going to go to 192.168.0.1 and it'll change you over to HTTPS. And then it's going to give you this screen right here where it's asking you what would you like to do. And so this is a brand new setup, so we're going to create a new Unleashed network. You can also, from the screen, you can also view the information about the access point, what it has set up by default out of the box. So today we're doing an R710. You can do software upgrade if you want, but we're on the newest version. So we're going to go ahead and start. And right now it's configuring the Unleashed Master and this will take about a minute and a half to two minutes to actually complete. So we're going to pause the video for just a moment and then when the master completes we will jump back in. Alright, the access point has configured the ma or the software has configured the Unleashed Master. Um, so I have this connected to a switch um, and I'm going to it through a wired connection. You can do this through a wireless connection if you want to. You would initially connect to the configure.me dash and the last six of the MAC address is what this is right here to reach the same wizard and go through here and you would need to remain connected to this configure.me setup to finish off the wizard. But since we're wired I don't need to be connected there so I'm going to go to next and here we're prompted by Chrome because it's a unknown certificate okay here we are at our unleashed setup wizard um, language choose many different languages uh, the system name you can set this to whatever you want to um, I'm just going to call mine call my lab unleashed if you want to configure mesh for your network so if you have access points that need to have network connectivity but do not have the ability to get a network connection to them um, you can set up a mesh network we're not going to do that right now I'm going to go next alright so from this screen right here we can set up AP gateway mode and this is new as of 200.3 um, where you're where you can have an access point maybe a small business setting where the access point can act as your NAT gateway and your DHCP server um, we're just going to set up a, a traditional unleashed setup um, so my IP mode can be dynamic or static um, I'm going to set mine static I'm just going to change this to, uh, to 20 my gateway is dot 10 uh, you would put in your DNS service here and if you wanted this access point to act as a DHCP server you would check this box right here and then you would set the range in which your access points would receive an IP address so I want to start at 100 and I'm gonna make it kind of small And you have a lot of different, several different options for how long you want your lease time to be. So we're just going to set our, we're going to leave it at 12 hours, the default. So now here's where we need to create our um, extended SSID. And I'm just going to call mine. I'm going to call my SSID lab unleashed. We're going to set up a, a pre-shared key. Gonna call it ruckus and we're gonna create one that's longer I call it ruckus one two three four because it needs to be eight sixty three characters so we need to set up uh, administrator information
now we have a summary screen so here's my system name my IP is set stat, uh, manually statically um, here's my IP address that I set it to the SSID that we're going to see um, my admin name you can do your you can click here and show the password I have mesh disabled um, and system time will be set automatically my PC time it's going off the time of my computer that I'm configuring from so we're going to say finish and it's going to reboot and this is going to take a few minutes to actually apply those settings to the master and then when it comes back up we will uh, jump back in and see where we are all right so now our Unleashed master is now configured. Um, what would I like to do? Um, so we're going to go ahead and click finish. And it's going to time out because we changed the IP address. We changed that IP address to dot. And we'll accept our certificate. I'm going to log in with the credentials that we set up during the installation. And so right here in the beginning, you're going to get the opportunity to register your Unleashed Access Points. I do recommend that you register your products. Um, for, for this demonstration, we're just going to skip. And now you are inside of your unleashed master uh, if you'll notice um, right now it's a lab environment so my internet is disconnected um, my Wi-Fi networks I have one network that I created and remember we called it lab unleashed um, I don't have any clients but you can see those from here the access points I have right now I have just the one access point and here's its information. So this is uh, it's up and running. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, so um, I hope this video is informative and have a great day.